Hey, it is Craig the Pool Man with Pool Specialist. Today we have a short video for you on how to fix your Active 20, your Dolphin, your Active 30. Um, we get a lot of calls and warranty requests that people say, well, I press the start button and the thing moves three feet, five feet, whatever, and then it stops and they bring it in for warranty. Well, a lot of times it's really not a warranty, it's a maintenance issue because the impeller gets clogged with debris and that jams up the impeller which then stops the device from running. Um, so if you bring it in to a service company such as ours and it's not a warranty that it's a maintenance issue, they're going to hand you a bill for $150 or more to take this apart and clean it. So this is a relatively easy thing to do. So we're going to show you what happens when you turn it on and what this looks like. And if you see this happening with your Active 20, your Active 30, your Active 60, or any of the Dolphin cleaners, they're pretty much all the same. Um, Dolphin and Active 20 are made by Mytronix. They typically all have about the same drive mechanism in them and are set up similarly. So if you can understand how to fix this, I'm sure it will apply to all the different styles. All right, here we have our Active 20 already in the pool. And we're gonna turn it on and you're gonna see that it starts to move. It goes, in this case, a few feet. And then it's going to stop. So there you go, it is stopped because it's kind of jammed up at this point. So we're gonna take this apart. I'm gonna show you how to resolve this problem and we'll test it after we fix it in the pool. You can see that it'll be working fine. Okay, we've pulled our active cleaner out of the water. I actually call my active cleaner Rosie. If any of you are as old as I am, you may remember the Jetsons. And in the Jetsons, of course, Rosie was a robot that cleaned the house for the Jetsons. We're not quite there yet as far as cleaning the house, but, um, well, we've called our little pool robot Rosie. And um, you'll notice that when you pop this open, you take out your, your little cartridge, and then there are two screws here. We're gonna go ahead and take those screws off. And I'm actually gonna turn this around so that you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to push this cord in as I pull this off because there's a little bit of restraint on this because of course if you notice when you try to get it out of the water it's usually as far away from you as possibly could be and so therefore you're pulling on that cord so you want it relatively secured and it is well secured in here so now you'll see this piece right here and we can simply pull that off you see how dirty that impeller is that is what is causing your problem. That's, that's what's jamming it up. So we need to get to that. And in order to get to that, we're simply going to take this black piece off. There's a little clip up here and a little clip down here. And we're going to push those in and pull this piece off, just like that. Now, all we have to do is go ahead and clean this out. This one's really pretty dirty. And you want to make sure that you get all the stuff out of the bottom of it too. So that jams this little fan up. And this fan is what's sucking all the stuff in from the bottom of the pool, which is giving you your 
I'm actually, usually I don't have to do this, but I'm actually going to take this impeller, unscrew it, and take it out. You're going to have to hold the impeller while you remove the screw. Alright, so then we're going to just pull this off. You may have to pry it a little bit from the bottom. And there you go. This comes off. You want to clean this up, and you see all of that gook down there? That's what you have to get out of there. That is what's causing you all that problem. And, you know, it, it's worse on pools that have pine trees around them because the pine needles tend to make it through and then they get wrapped up in here. So get all that nice cleaned out really well and then you can put your impeller back on it is has a flat spot on the one side so it's only going to fit in in one direction so you're going to have to work on it then you push it down and take your machine screw and go ahead and put that back in. Don't go crazy tightening it because you're gonna have to take this off again. So just kinda put your finger on the one blade and then tighten it, you know, just a little bit. You don't want it to fall out, but you don't wanna over tighten it where you're not gonna be able to get it out the next time. So now this piece is completely symmetrical. So all you're gonna do is you're going to put this back on, making sure that it clips into, into place. Give it a slight little tug so that it doesn't, you know that it's on all the way. And now this piece right here should fit in very comfortably. And if you try to put it in incorrectly, it won't let you do that. So it is kind of what I'll call idiot proof. So if you wanted to put it in like this, it doesn't work. You tried to put it in like that. So it's only gonna fit in in one direction. Okay, so now we have that piece back on and we're going to take our cover and we're gonna put our cover back on. And we're gonna pull the cord through until we get relatively close to it. And then there is a grommet back here that you're going to have to make sure that you put in to the slot correctly. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get it back together. And once you get that in, this piece will fit down nice and tight. We put our screws back here. And again, these, you want them tight, but don't make them over tight. You're only, you got metal into plastic. And so if you really bear down on it, you're gonna strip it and break it, and then you're not gonna be happy. So those are tight, but not overly tight. Clean your basket out. You know that this flips like that. It's got this little clap clip on it. You can flip it out and then clean it out. I usually use a hose to make sure it's nice and clean because the cleaner this is, the better it's going to work. Put that in and then of course we close this up. Now we're going to put this in the water and we're going to show you that it now is happy and it's going to work. And we have renewed Rosie's life. We've given her a new extension on life and I'm sure she's going to be happy and reward us with cleaning the pool many, many times over. Okay, Rosie is back in the water, and we're gonna go ahead and turn, press that big old power button on. I like to hit it, the little one button next to it, that way it goes every single day instead of um, once. So if you hit the one button, you get 
every day. If you hit the two button, it goes every other day. And if you hit the three button, it goes every third day. The one does not mean one hour, the two does not mean two hours, and the three does not mean three hours. And you can see that Rosie is now navigating. She's kind of running on the side of the pool. This is a little bit of an awkward pool for this type of cleaner. But clearly, our Active 20, our Dolphin, whatever you want to call this thing, is now functioning correctly. And cleaning our pool. Thank you for watching the video. We appreciate it. If you found it educational, please drop us a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day.